Wake up. It's time to kickstart your day with Scripture Link's Daily Dose of Inspiration. Daily Dose of Inspiration. Good morning and welcome to this brand new day. This is Scripture Link's Daily Dose of Inspiration for Friday, July 12th, 2019. And as you wake up and you start this brand new day, thank God for this day and, and commit this day to Him and use this day to bring glory and honor to our to our Lord. Use this day to share your faith with someone and encourage somebody. And while you're at it today, give God praise because He is worthy of our praise. He is worthy of our worship. He is worthy of our thanksgiving. Our scripture reading today is taken from the book of Psalm, chapter 119, and it's verses 39 and 40. Turn away my reproach, which I fear, for thy judgments are good. Behold, I have longed after thy precepts, quicken me in thy righteousness. Friends, we're finishing up this look here at Psalm 119, verses 33 through 40, and the topic of living the Lord's way. If we want to live the way God wants us to live, friends, this is what we need to do. Verse 33 and 34 and 35 give us the introduction of what we need to do. We need to ask the Lord each day to teach us his ways, to teach us his precepts, to help us live according to his word. And then it's not enough to teach us. We have to pray for understanding so that we could separate what is the truth of God's word with what is false teachings. And we can, we can apply it. We can live his word. We can, we can understand what it is that God is trying to reveal to us as we're reading scripture. And then as he's teaching us and as we're understanding it, we need to apply that to our lives. That's what verse 35 says. We need to apply the, the precepts of God and the path of God to our lives. And then we have to ask God each day to incline our hearts onto him, onto his word, onto his desires. Help us take joy in the Lord. And help us to get away from the things of this world. So we look at and pray for in verses 35 and 36. Then in verse 38, we, we learn that we need to ask the Lord to establish that foundation of his word in our lives. Have it be a strong foundation. Something we're building our lives upon as he's teaching us, as we're understanding, as we're applying. And then verses 39 and 40 sum everything up. He says, turn away my reproach, which I fear. For thy judgments are good. The writer here is asking the Lord to turn away his reproach to, he's asking basically for forgiveness. Forgiveness of the way he's messed up. Forgiveness of the ways that he hasn't followed God's, God's will and God's path for his life. He fears the reproach of God. He fears the, dis, the, the punishment of God, the discipline of God. And that's what we need to do. We need to ask God to turn away our reproach. We need to ask for forgiveness. We need to seek his way. He says, for thy judgments are good. The judgments of God are good. The judgments of God are right. Then verse 40 says, behold, I have longed after thy precepts. Quicken me in thy righteousness. I have longed for your for your precepts. We have longed for the things of God. We need to pray and ask God to give us that longing for him so that we can learn from him, so that we can follow in his steps. Back in verse 20 of Psalm 119, we read, My soul breaketh for the longing that it hath unto thy judgments at all times. Do we have that kind of desire? Do we have that deep kind of long desire and longing for the word of God? Friends, we live in a spiritual desert now, it seems. And, and we need to get into God's word and we need to feast and to nourish ourselves on the word of God. Are we willing to do that today? That's the only way, the only way that we can live the life that God wants us to live. Are you getting into God's word each day? And are you spending time there? Are you allowing the Lord to teach you? Are you understanding and applying what it is? Are you asking God to give you that desire for him and for his word and to establish that foundation in your life? Are you doing those things? Think about that as you go through this day. And remember, get into God's word and allow God's word to get into you. And then share that word with someone today. Have a blessed day. Mm-hmm.